Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about my physical TBR. So basically I have so many books and I need to be in at work and like, or I need to leave for work in around 20-ish minutes. So I'm just gonna try to get as fast as possible. I have two bookshelves. I think I got everything from the one over there. So kind of, I'm gonna go through this pile and then I'm just gonna pull off of my bookshelf behind me because we have a lot to get through. Some of these are going to be rereads that I want to um, obviously reread and I will clarify all of that, but I'm just gonna start pulling um, right next to me. So the first book I have is A Woman in White. This is a classic. Um, I don't wanna talk too much about each of them, um, but yeah, I got this in December. I think I read like 20-ish pages of it, but I really want to give this a read. Next, I have Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. I'm actually currently reading this, so um, I'm on chapter three right now. I have Gay Awareness by Lana Schult or Sculch. I don't really know, um, but the little thing says, discovering the heart of the father and the mind of Christ on sexuality. I am a Christian, but I'm also an LGBTQ ally. And so um, I think this would be an interesting book to read from a Christian pastor on his thoughts about gay, um, about the gay community and everything. But yeah, I've had this one for a while and I want to give it a read. So I have two books from the Red Queen series. I read the Red Queen in January. It was my like first series that got me into fantasy and I had these two. This is a novella and this is another book. I'm pretty sure these two novellas, cause this is, no, yeah. These are um, two novellas and I'm pretty sure those novellas are in here, but I think there's more in this, but I really wanna read these, um, The Cruel Crown and The Broken Throne. Another book that I'm currently reading, it's The Body Keeps the Score, Brain, Mind, and Body in the Healing of Trauma. Um, so far it's really good. I still have a decent chunk of this. I started this back in April, but it is it's written by a doctor, so it's kind of hard to read, but I am currently reading this. Next, I'm not very happy about this purchase, um, but I am going to read it just because I do have the book and I've read her other two books and I just want to see what this book is, but it's by Rachel Hollis. It's Didn't See That Coming. I don't want to give her, I don't want to talk about her because she did some questionable things in um, on TikTok and everything. If you want to know more about it, you can look it up. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna read that, but I'm <laughs> kind of on the fence about it. Game Changing Moves, Life life Lessons from the Locker Room and Beyond. This was by my 8th grade gym teacher, and he is a wrestling coach, he's a Christian, and this is just him, um, his book that he wrote. I, try, I guess I tried to start it, but I never got into it, but yeah, I want to read that. Next, I have I Will Teach You to Be Rich. I think this would be a simple book on what it's about, nonfiction, you know? Next, I have a series. It's the Me Before You series. I have three books. I got these on thrift books. It makes me sad that none of the books are like the same size or anything, but it's fine. Um, but yeah, I want to read the series. I'm like 97% sure that's everything. Oh wait, I have one more, hold on. Okay, I actually forgot two books that were over there, but I have another Christian book, Captivating. Um, I've had this since eighth grade, I think. I have not read it, so I wanna read this. And then I have The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner. I've read all of the Twilight books besides this one, and so I want to read this one for sure. Yeah, those. that's all on that bookshelf, so let's get started on this bookshelf. There's so many, it's insane. I actually have already read this series, but I currently got it in hardcover, and so I'm wanting to reread it again. I actually finished The Cruel Prince yesterday, but I just wanna give this another read. Um, yeah, I already have read this twice this year, so. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I wanna read this. I have the From Blood and Ash series. I know this series isn't completed, which makes me sad, because when I start a series, I always want it to be finished. Like, I thought Akatar was finished, but apparently there's going to be more books to it. Although I guess those books don't necessarily per uh, pertain to Feyre and Ryzen, so it's fine, but yeah, I'm really excited about these books. They look so pretty and I definitely want to read them. Also have the Shatter Me series. Guys, I'm gonna have to, like you guys are gonna have to tell me. I had, I bought this, um, this was a five book series, but I was like, I'm pretty sure there's a six book. And so I thought this was a six book and I still think it is, but it's so weird because the like, on all the other books, they, this is the same lettering. And then on this one, it's a little different. And I just don't know. Like you can even tell by looking at the spine that the Imagine Me is different. So I'm not sure if that's the sixth book, 
but I guess we'll find out when I eventually read this series. Next, this series I'm very excited about. It is the Throne of Glass series. I want to read this so bad, but I kind of want to get through my like singular books before I start a eight book series. So very excited about this one. So guys, I have so many books that I'm having to just like put my books in random places and it's getting to be a problem. Putting books underneath um, my bookshelf right now. Some books that I'm wanting to reread. I want to read Into the Wild. This um, movie is super good and I remember loving this book when I read it for the first and second time. So I really want to read this one again. And then I have Hatchet. I think I read this in like sixth grade and so I know it's probably not um, that intense of a, a book but I feel like it's a classic type book and I want to read it again. Then I want to read To Kill a Mockingbird again. I think this is a great book and I think I should reread it now that I'm older and maybe we'll understand concepts more. And then these books I haven't read yet. Um, I want to read the Julia Quinn series, The Duke and I. I have the first one right here. And then I want to read the Harry Potter's series. My friend Libby has the entire series along with Percy Jackson. And so those two are also on my TBR. Oh no, I took my books off and it just fell. Anyways, we're gonna get into some hardcovers right now. I want to read All This Time by, um, I don't even know who it's by, Mickey Dottery and Rachel Lippincott. They wrote um, Five Feet Apart. I have the book right here. And the covers are actually like super similar. Like they look very close, but they're about different stories. So I wanna read this. It is a YA, but I thought it would still be good to read. I have The Lovely Bones. I literally love this movie. It was terrifying for my like nine or 10 year old self when I first saw it, but um, I never knew it was a book. And so I saw this at Goodwill and I picked it up and decided I want to definitely read this one. I have another Sarah J Mass book. This is her new series. I'm pretty sure it's only gonna have two books, but this is the first one, um, House of Earth and Blood, Crescent City. I'm very, very excited about it. It looks so pretty. It is like 800 pages or so though. So I'm gonna wait until I have a dedicated time or I really just wanna focus on one large book before I get into this one. Taylor Jenkins Reid novel. I have so many of her books. I literally have four of them up here. And so I signed up for book of the month and got this one. I'm very excited. I heard it's not her best novel, but I'm still really excited about it. And I definitely wanna read it this summer just cause it is like a, beach read. I have lore. I have been into my Greek mythology. I actually recently read The Song of Achilles and I want to read Circe up there. But yeah, I got lore because also like the cover is just gorgeous and I think it will be really, really interesting story. Next, I have The Midnight Library. I'm sure you guys have seen this everywhere. It's a very popular book and I couldn't even tell you what it's really about. All I know is that I definitely want to read it. Then I have a poetry book by Ruby Carr. I have um, her two other poetry books right here. And so when I saw this, I was like, you know, I'm going to add it to my collection and read it. I love her poetry. Um, and I, I think I like her drawings more than her actual poetry, but I did get this. I think this is the last pile of my TBR. So let's just go ahead and get started. This one I have is Call Me By Your Name. Um, obviously, this was super popular when the... A novel came out I know there are not the novel when the movie came out I kind of hate the cover I hate movie covers and especially Archie Ham or what's his name Archie Hammer right army <laughs> not Archie um, with all of his tea and stuff I don't really like this cover um, I'm more of a person that prefers non movie covers or like when there isn't a person on them but it's fine it's fine but yeah, I really want to read this. Um, I think I tried to read it last last summer, um, but the writing was just a little bit different for me and I couldn't get into it, but I'm sure I will. And once I read this, I'll probably read the second book. I have The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. These two authors, I read The Soulmate Equation for Maddie Mayo's book club and I loved it so much. So I've heard a lot of good things about this novel. I think it may have just came out or maybe Maybe it's a couple years old. I can't remember, but I am excited about it. I have a little book series. It is um, the Brown Sisters. So there's Get a Life, Chloe Brown, Take a Hint, Danny Brown, and Actor Age, Eve Brown. I heard a lot about this book, and so I bought this book, but then I was like, I looked at the back and I was like, oh, there's two other books that go in front of it. So yeah, they're sisters and it's all their love stories. So I'm very excited to read this one. 
I've had this book for a while and I almost started it, but it's called The Two Lives of Lydia Bird by Josie Silver. The cover is adorable and the story is similar to One True Loves where a girl has a lover, they either disappear or die, and then she has a chance at them back, but she's already kind of moved on with her life. So she has to choose between her past relationship or her present relationship or something like that. Um, but yeah, I'm excited about this. And she's the author of One Day in December. I haven't read that book, but I'm sure, um, I mean, I heard a lot about that book, so I'm pretty sure she is a good author. And Normal People, this is already, you guys have definitely heard of this book. I definitely wanna watch the Hulu series, but yeah, nothing much to say about this book. I mentioned it earlier, I wanna read Cersei. It is about the witch um, and who like kind of controls um, Odysseus. I'm pretty sure. I can't remember. I used to love Greek mythology. Sixth grade me, I was literally Athena for Halloween. And so reading the Song of Achilles, I was just like, I need to start like remembering all of this stuff. And um, I'm very excited about this. I, I, I'm having a feeling that I might like Cersei more than the Song of Achilles, but I also have no idea. So we'll, we'll see. I'll let you guys know. Uh, People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. I literally loved Beach Read. I have it right here. That book was so like cute and steamy. Contemporary romance literally to the max. Um, but yeah, she just came out with this one, I'm pretty sure. And I've heard a lot of good things about it. I definitely want to read this um, this summer. This is my last physical TBR. This is by Lisa Jewell. It is called Invisible Girl. Um, it is a thriller novel. I actually read her book, um, then she was gone in one day. This book was so good. Her writing is magnific magnificent. And I think she just came out with this book or recently came out with it. But yeah, I am so excited to read this one. And yeah, I think that is the end of this video. Yeah, that is the end of this video. Hopefully you enjoyed um, seeing all of my physical TBRs. There's probably more somewhere hidden in my room that I just forgot. But I'm sure this is enough. I'm gonna try to count how many books I did in this video but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and go have a wonderful day peace and love bye guys